Katie, with opening statement. Um, you know what? We won a championship, and that's something I told the team in the pregame. The last time we were playing for a championship, we didn't win it. And this was our opportunity to, to win a championship and that you make a name for yourself by how many championships you won, period. And I didn't feel like we were as focused and shoot around today um, as we needed to be, and um, it showed on the court. But um, to be able to refocus at halftime and execute, even coming out of the second half, we missed shots, but I was okay with those misses because they were well executed, well done plays, and our defense intensity really picked up. So I was okay with that performance, but I was not okay with the start of the game, and, and I felt like um, we just, uh, you know, it, you know, it's almost an insult to the, to the game of basketball to, to play with that little focus and, and have an opponent like UNC Greensboro that was just so sharp, so focused, so ready to play, and um, so excited. And so I, I was glad they came in here and made us match that because it took us a good 20 minutes to, to bring, bring what we needed to bring to the table. Um, so things didn't go according to plan and uh, maybe lack of focus and maybe you didn't shoot the ball well enough, but uh, Quanah Williams, she recognized that and she took it to the hole hard and right. she made 9 of 10 free throws. Great, great, great basketball adjustment by Bay and, and I keep saying it. Um, you know, we talk about how improved Morgan Stroman is and I feel like, um, you know, there's maybe not a more improved player in the country except for Raquana Williams, who is improved in the basketball IQ sort of way that um, I think the coaches in the ACC will recognize it and, and be a little bit uh, more frightened of Miami because um, she's not an easy scout anymore. She's not one-dimensional. And, you know, the block she made on that shot and the fact that she was the emotional energy, it's Ben Stroh, it's Ben Mo, but for it to be Bay. To her to take that on, I thought was um, you know a high caliber performance, and once again you know eight boards by her, like she's getting after it, and uh, I'm, I just think she's playing out of her mind right now. And uh, Morgan, congratulations to you! You named the MVP of the, the tournament. Thank you. Um, uh, t talk about the five starters. They all scored in double figures today. It was um, it wasn't uh, one, two, or just three. It was it was the whole the whole starting lineup. Talk about them. I think what we've been kind of lacking is our, the starters, chemistry. So once we get that together, we're, we're awesome. And, like, big ups to Syl, like, finishing and getting to the free throw line. You know, that that's a really big step up for her tonight. So, I mean, if once we all click, then we're on the game. And, and Coach, talk about Sylvia and uh, Stephanie a little bit. Sylvia, it's her first career double-double, and uh, Stephanie shoots some shots, especially in the first half, that yeah. uh, got you guys going a little bit. You know, actually, I thought Steph was our best offensive player in the first half. I really did, and we talked about it in the locker room. Her timing was great, whatever, but she got two fouls, and so it, but her rhythm and her passing and her sharing of the basketball was fantastic. And Sylvia is, you know, one of the favorite kids I've ever coached just because she's never a problem. She's just a lunch pail worker, puts a hard hat on, and comes to work, and just absolutely um, gets it done. But, you know, one of her weaknesses has been finishing. And so I thought tonight, you know, they were another physical team and, and she just caught and finished real quick and they were big moments for us. And uh, what I love about this team is they really love each other. And still playing great, made everybody play great. And, you know, they do feed off each other. So I think we're going to be very, very special. I'm just not a coach that, you know, I'm sitting here, I think we won by, you know, 40 and then 18, and I'm just not satisfied. And I, I love about this team is if I had come in that locker room and congratulated them, they would have been like, what the heck, coach? That's, we know we didn't play like we need to play. But I have to credit Greensboro because they were just a, a great, prepped, well-coached team. And, Coach, you have another game on Monday. Quick turnaround, just talk about the schedule. and. Yeah, you know, it's hard in women's basketball to um, get your, all your uh, non-conference games in. and You'll see. I mean, it, it, then, then we don't get as much individual work out, and, and it's showing up. I mean, our shooting percentage is going down because we're just prepping for the other team and we're not in the gym working on our skills. And um, we need to, you know, tomorrow is going to be a quick turnaround and a prep and another game day. So coming off of that game, you know, we're going to spend, we're going to camp Miami and really work on our skills a little bit more. Uh, Morgan, uh, coach has talked about the quick turnaround. What's that like for a player? Rough. <laughs> Being that you have to deal with school, practice, film, find something to eat, all that stuff. It's, but I mean, like a student athlete, gotta get with it. <laughs> all right.